Much love and grace and many blessings to you today. It's quite early. Uh, YouTube and Facebook and wherever else this is going. This is uh, day three of the fast. It is uh, quite early in the morning. Just woke up. It's woke up about five o'clock and uh, I guess the Lord, the Spirit woke me up. So I figured I would uh, post something early today on the fast, 40-day fast, and uh, the 40-day prayer of healing, and uh, 40 days of just fasting, praying, and making our supplication before God. I just wanted to just leave a message this today early and uh, post it on Facebook so and other areas just so people can understand what this is all about just like there's a push from Satan and the evil forces of this world to get people to be in gross darkness, get them to do whatever comes in their mind, the shootings and the violence and, and uh, all the craziness that goes on. And we're aware of all the craziness of life. There's a great push from God to get us to be like Him. There's a great thrust that is going on now. Uh, and I just want to give you a word today, a sobering word, that life is basically what you allow God to do for you, and what you allow the Spirit of God, the Spirit of Jesus Christ, to do for you. Without that Spirit guiding you and leading you and helping you, life is uncertain. Someone said, well, even with God guiding you, life is uncertain. To, certain, to a certain extent, to a certain point, yes. No one knows what's going to happen today or tomorrow. We're saying we're going to be on a 40-day fast, but my Lord, if God decides to take one of us, we're gone. But here's the point, and here's the great point. When you have Jesus Christ, and you have Jesus in your life, and you have Jesus leading you and guiding you, that is the most assurance that anyone could ever have. You say, well, Pastor, how do you go through things? And Brother Seth, how do you deal with just all that is going on around you? And all of us have things that happen, things that happen unaware. All of us have problems. All of us have situations. I just want to speak a word to you this morning. You've tried all that stuff for years. You've, you've, you've gone crazy. You did the drugs. You, you went to the hospital. You, you, you did all the things that you've done. Now, come on now. And let's see what Jesus will do. You smoked the blunts. You, you partied till you can't party anymore. You went from woman to woman and from man to man. Let Jesus heal you now. Let Jesus bring some, some assurance and some surety in your life. Life is hard enough, this is the truth. Life is hard enough, but without Jesus, I just can't imagine it. I don't, I don't understand how people make it without Jesus. Well, I see how they make it, they, they're just lost. And not being self-righteous, when you look and understand how things transpire in life, 
you understand that people are lost. I mean, they're drinking themselves to death. They're smoking their brains out. They're, they're, they, they just don't know. And they're trying to fix the spiritual with the temporal and carnal. And it just can't happen. That which is spirit is spirit. And that which is flesh is flesh. Only Jesus, only Jesus can fix your life and my life. It started with Jesus and it's going to end with Jesus. None of us asked to be here. None of us. None of us knew we were coming to this earth. But guess what? It starts with Jesus. And it ends with Jesus. We are on our third day of fasting. And this is the day where we can now drink water. And uh, I've already had, I've already started having some water. So for all of those saying he's going to kill himself, no I'm not. Because I will drink water for 40 days and cleanse my temple, cleanse my mind. There is no God. God. If you've never fasted before and, and you never uh, went on an extensive journey and stopped eating and start drinking your waters and your water. It cleanses you, but it just doesn't cleanse you physically. When you start getting into the Spirit of God, and when you start really getting into the, the God's Word, it cleanses your spirit. I, am, I have never been such alive like when I fast. Because it actually brings you to almost a pure state of mind. It brings you to a pure state of existence. And you don't have all the external factors in you and the caffeine and the sugars and the rushes and all this. It helps you think soberly and real calm. Jesus Christ wants to do it. This is a prayer and healing services, healing and prayer services. And this, these are going to go on until the new year. If you're tired of how life has been dealing you these cards that you've been playing, and you say, you know, enough is enough. I'm speaking to you. If you've been sick and you're trying your best to do your best and you need a boost, you need some help, not that we're so righteous and we're so holy, nah, it's not like that. Come on, let us give you a little boost and a little help. If you've been struggling in your walk with Christ and you are at your wits end and you're almost about to give up, I'm speaking to you. If you are deathly sick and the doctors told you, this is it, we can do no more, come, allow Jesus to do it. Come, let's see what Jesus will do.